Hey everybody, happy Friday. Here we are, the end of July. It's almost the end of summer. Can you believe it? <laughs> Yay! You guys know that summer down here is rough, but it seems like we've all had a rough heat, hot summer this year. I don't know. I know my friends up north never want summer to end, but I am always like, please get me to September. I see you guys jumping on. Hello, hello. I am back from vacation and um, well, you know how it is when you come back from vacation, you guys. It takes numerous days to get yourself back in the swing of things, right? I'm trying to get you guys pulled up on my um, computer so I can see your comments. Okay, good. Um, our trip was amazing. I told you guys we were going to Maui and I was very nervous about the flights. Delta had us going uh, Salt Lake City, Seattle, Wait, is that right? Salt Lake City, Seattle, and then Maui, which is, you know, obviously San Antonio all the way up down. It was stupid. Anyway, our third flight from Seattle to Maui, we had a three hour layover. And about two and a half hours into that three hour layover, they delayed the flight, delayed, delayed, delayed. And then they said, come back tomorrow. <laughs> So it took us about 48 hours to actually get to Maui. We lost the first full day of vacation. Um, I swore I was never going to travel again. I'm never going anywhere. I'm never flying. But after a full day in Maui, I felt differently. <laughs> you know, it's just difficult. It, flying is never easy anyway, but this summer seems to be even more difficult for everybody. <sighs> My dog wants in. Hold on. He's he's wanting his little treat. All right, here you go, buddy. I know you didn't get it earlier. Um. So, anyways, you guys were asking. It was great. Thank you. Um. I, we made it. We're back. We survived. The kids loved it. I mean, hello. And uh, hopefully, they enjoyed it because that'll be the last time. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you guys had a great week. I did miss you. Um, I want to just let you guys know that I am like a chicken with my head cut off. Um, we have appointments like every single day from now until school starts. All the back to school craziness has started. We've got shop back to school shopping. We've got to move the oldest into an apartment in Waco. It's gonna, so the next three weeks, <laughs> I always think, okay, I'm, you know, I've got it, I've got it down. Summer's good. I've got everything. We're good. We can, and then I hit like August and I'm like, I can't remember my name. Um, I don't know what today is. Where are we going? What are we doing? So please be patient with me over the next month. As soon as my kids are back in school, I'll be able to think clearly again and hopefully answer emails on time, not make any mistake. Well, that'll never end. But anyways, um, Anyway, so I just wanted to put that out there, you guys. I know all you moms out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, August is my least favorite month of the whole year. Okay, moving on. I'm so happy to see you guys. Hey, and those of you, you know, I'm always talking about the weather. I'm a weather nerd, you guys, big time. So all of you up there in the Pacific Northwest, when I was there two weeks ago, it felt uh, amazing because, you know, we ended up spending the night there. Uh, we were like it's cold. I mean, it was like 68 or something. We loved it. But I know you guys are roasting now. So I'm, I apologize. I must have dragged the heat up with me when I went. Hopefully you guys will survive the heat. Okay. I've got a few things to tell you. The all Star. So if you're on my email list, I sent out an email this morning. If you're on my email list and you didn't get it, go to your spam folder and look to see if it's there. I've told you guys before, I have subscribed to my own email list and my own email goes to my spam folder. Um, you can fix that by marking it as not spam. And if you're like me, you have like a Mac or an app where you check your email, you'll actually have to go to the website. So um, if you have Yahoo Mail, you have to go to the Yahoo Mail website and mark it there that it's not spam. They make it so difficult. But anyways, if you're on my email list, I sent an email this morning with lots of reminders. Actually, maybe it was not this morning, this afternoon. Um, if you're not on my email list, make sure you get on my email list um, so you won't miss anything. Um, this is the All Star Tutorial Bundle. We come out with a new one every single month and twice a year we open it to subscriptions. July is one of those times and July ends on Sunday. So if you um, like these all-star tutorial PDFs 
you only have until Sunday to subscribe and then it closes until January. Um, they are 12 tutorials every month. We pick a suite from the catalog. This month is a wash in beauty. All 12 of us, 12 different demonstrators come up with a different project. We film a video. They're all linked in here with a measurement supply list, everything that you need. They're in uh, metric and imperial measurements. You get this for free if you shop with me. So if you're my customer and you order from me, you get this for free when you spend $50. But if you're a demonstrator or you have your own demonstrator and you're just here to watch the video, but you are interested in the PDFs, there's two ways to get them. You can buy them in my PDF store each month or you can subscribe now. And when you subscribe, you get the sixth one for free. They are $15 a month. And if you subscribe, you get the sixth one for free. I think I explained that without messing it up. <laughs> I usually mess it up. Um, uh, let me show you my project this month. This is a little box, okay? Next month, here's a sneak peek. Next month's all-star tutorial is the He's the Man Suite. And I made a little boozy crate. These are boozy jelly beans. They're just beer tasting jelly beans, which to me sounds disgusting but I'm sure my husband would love them. Um, but you could also put little mini bottles, you know, the little boozy, you know, like little bottles of rum or whatever in here, they fit too. This is coming August 1st in next month's All-Star Tutorial PDF. So stay tuned for that, but if you're a subscriber, it will be delivered to your inbox on the first around 9 a.m. So first thing I do when I get into my office, the first of every month is I send that email. Okay, any questions about that? Thank you, Christine. <laughs> I usually trip over myself when I'm trying to explain that. I don't know why. I've been doing this for maybe five years, and I, for some reason, it's like I'm like, oh, what am I saying? Um, okay, let's see. Um, Christine also has a suggestion. You can also add her email or domain to your safe or whitelist. I don't even know how to do that. Um, if you add the domain, everything after the Yahoo symbol, then it won't, or at the Yahoo symbol, at the at symbol, then it won't matter what email she sends from. Okay, where, where do you do that, Christine? Within your email? Safe or white list. Please expand your explanation. <laughs> um, okay, I have two different things, two more things to tell you. Um, this class to go, the happier... Happy Forest Friends or Happier Than Happy class to go. The deadline was today, but I've extended it until Sunday night because if I order today, it's the same as if I order Monday morning. So I'm like, you know what, let's just leave it open for two more days. You have until Sunday night to register for this. It is um, five cards, one, two, three, four, five, five cards and a mini album. You're gonna get a full pack of paper and two bolts of ribbon and everything else you need to make these projects. You can, oh, he's upside down. You can get it with the bundle or without the bundle. If you don't have the bundle, choose that option. You're going to get a celebration item and you'll get the ribbon for free. Um, you can add on adhesive as well um, to your kit if you need it. Okay, so that's it. I'm not going to talk about that class anymore. That's the deadline. <laughs> Somebody always misses it. Okay, now here, good news for those of you who've been waiting. I opened subscriptions to Club Create this morning. For some reason, I can't get the PayPal code to pop up on my blog. When I, when I go to the post and I preview it, it's there. When I publish it, it's not. So there's a little link, it just says, um, you can subscribe here until blah, blah, blah. So click the subscribe here and it'll take you to the subscription. Club Create is a monthly club. Um, it's $39 a month. This is August's Club Create kit. It will feature the Best Butterflies bundle. Um, when you subscribe for six months, when you stay in, you get a, a 25, I almost said a hundred dollar product bonus. Wouldn't that be amazing? <laughs> you get a $25 product bonus on your sixth month. Um, you can sign up for one month and cancel. There's no penalty. You can cancel anytime. Um, when you sign up, so let's say today is the 29th, then if you stay subscribed, it'll charge you again on August 29th, September 29th, you know, until you cancel it. And if you can't figure out how to cancel it, just email me and I can do it for you. I don't ever want anybody to feel like, oh, I got charged for that again and I didn't want it. If that ever happens, please email me because I definitely don't want that. I know subscriptions can be weird, but this is like the easy button for those of you that buy my classes. You subscribe, you're automatically subscribed every single month and you're gonna get the Club Create Kit. 
Um, so Club Create, I've had it closed, I think since June or since May, and I'm only gonna take about seven more subscriptions. It's still full, you guys are awesome. Um, and I, again, wanna make sure that it doesn't get um, so big that I am not doing a good job. So I'll leave it open for a few days. If you wanna join Club Create, you can. Um, look for the Club Create tab at the top of my blog. I'll also update this video with links when I'm done. Um, also, the PDF today, oh, I just made a mess. The PDF today at pinkbuckaroo.com, under the last photo, has all those links all the way down. They're all there for you, okay? Um, this I thought I had printed out, and I know it's backwards, the tax-free holiday. And let me just say, I don't decide who gets tax-free holiday, <laughs> and neither does Stamping Up. It's a state issue. So if your state has a sales tax holiday for back to school, then you're probably on this list. If they don't, then you're not. So I can't fix it and neither can Stamping Up. So sorry, all right? But those of you that are on the list, Florida, you're right now. Um, Tennessee, you're today, today's your first day. Arkansas comes uh, next week. Illinois, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, Missouri, all of you are coming up in August. So if you look at today's PDF, I have it all listed right there for you. Um, and there's, um. There's a, I need to stop talking. I feel like I'm talking forever. There's a spreadsheet that has your state and then all the items. And it'll tell you, like markers are tax-free in some states and not in others. So it's, you have to really look to see. It's mostly adhesive, paper snips, uh, markers, um, grid paper, I think. I had a picture. Um, but again, not every state is the same. So make sure you look at that PDF. I hope I fixed that link. If that link isn't right, you guys let me know and I'll fix it because they changed it. Stamp. I had a link to the original PDF and then they changed it. And so my first link didn't work, but I think this link is right. Okay. So tax-free, that's when I stock up on my adhesive. When we have our tax-free weekend here in Texas, I buy all the adhesive I need for the year. I mean, it, you know, it's a savings. Here in Texas, tax is eight and a quarter. So, or in San Antonio, eight and a quarter. So um, that's, you know, savings on something pretty basic that I have to buy. Um, so anyways, that's that. That is there for you. Um, the August Paper Pumpkin, I don't even have a graphic for it, but you guys, it's sunflowers and it's gorgeous. That subscription period is open for another 10 days-ish. So if you want that kit, make sure you subscribe. And that is it, right? That's it. Okay, we're good. All right. Have you guys checked? Is the blog post up? Um, I don't see anybody saying it's not. <laughs> Christine says, I keep my creative convention, I mean my creative convention, see where my mind is. I keep my club create going because I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> You're not going to get kicked out. But I do close it from time to time. I do. Just because I'm one person. I'm only one <laughs> person. Okay, so today we are doing the lighthouse, oops, the lighthouse point. And my friend Terry commented earlier today, she said, nope, I don't need that, but now I'm thinking I'm going to watch you and I'm going to need it. I don't know why you guys think you don't need this, because it is awesome. Um, I love dies that don't necessarily need a stamp, and that's what some of these are. Paper piecing, uh, where you put different pieces of cardstock together to make something, I love doing that. And so that's what these are. Um, but then you also have a stamp set to stamp the lighthouse. It's really great. Um, so we're gonna make three projects with that. If you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll see all the projects there, hopefully. And um, there's a free PDF. And if you like the projects, if you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight using the host code that's on that PDF, I will send you all three make and takes for free next week. And by the way, thank you to everyone who ordered while I was gone. Holy cow, you guys like mystery boxes. It took me several days to pack all that up. Um, it was like crazy. So they all went out today. Um, I'm excited for you guys to get it. Remember, it's a mix. Not, they're not all the same. Some have brand new product. Some have slightly used product. I, I mean, honestly, it was mostly brand new product. I had very little product that was slightly used. It was mostly all new. I have so many things that I've never used. So 
thank you for everybody who sent that. I also sent your all-star tutorial PDF this morning. If you didn't get, let me know. Um, I am planning on doing a BOGO sale with the rest of my stuff, hopefully either end of August, beginning of September. I don't know. I don't know. It, I've got a lot of work to get that ready. So I don't know. I'm not going to commit to it, but it is coming online BOGO sale. Okay. So just make sure you're on my email list. So you'll know when it's coming. Okay. Prize winner from two weeks ago, my friend, Robin Nicolaco, Robin, Robin Nicolacus, Nicolacus. I'm sure I butchered it, but Robin, we'll just call you Robin Nichols because that's what sometimes she puts. She's got a beautiful long last name and I think it's probably Greek, right Robin? I love it, but I can't say it. Anyway, you're the winner. Thank you for sharing my video. Fond of autumn. I have your mailing address. Although sometimes I get it wrong. I think I've been getting it right lately, hopefully. Um, I will send that to you next week. Thanks for sharing. If you would like to be a winner, um, if you'd like to win a prize next week, which will be two caroling mice. Aren't they cute? This is a host set in the holiday catalog. If you'd like to win one of these, all you have to do is share the video. Um, leave a comment that you've shared because I can't always see who's shared because, um, you know, Facebook is weird. Um, but anyways share and I'll pick two winners next week. Okay, so I'm going to flip the camera around, but I, here I have these two. This is what your make and takes will look like if you order this weekend by Monday at midnight. They'll be similar to this. You'll need the Lighthouse Point Bundle ink and adhesive. Everything else I will send you. All righty, let's get started. Let me turn you around. And I, you know what? I posted you guys while I was in Seattle. Uh-oh, my PDF just went flying. No, no, no. While I was in Seattle, I mean, super randomly, I text my friend Ange, who lives in Vancouver. We haven't seen each other. I think it's been three years. And I'm like, hey, look how close I am to you. I'm in Seattle. You're in Vancouver. Well, she immediately starts calling me. and She says, Erica, you're not going to believe this. I'm flying into Seattle right now. It was insane. It was crazy. So we got to see each other. It, yes, there were tears. Our husbands were super excited to see each other. It was crazy, but I'm trying to find my PDF. It flew off back here. Hold on just a second. But it just goes to show what the pandemic has done to us. We haven't seen, you know, many of us haven't seen family and friends for a very long time. And uh, we forget, you know, just how important that human connection is. I mean, it was, it was like no time had gone by at all, but also like, like, oh my gosh, how, it's been forever, you know? And it just, oh, it was awesome. So yeah, I know lots of you guys are fans of Angie's, so it was awesome seeing her. It was so awesome. But not long enough. that she, Her flight had been canceled too, which is just speaks of <laughs> the state of travel. Okay, we are ready. To, I always talk for like 20 minutes. No matter, I'm going to have to turn the fan down. Everything is flying around and the camera. Hold on. It's so funny. I'll think I don't have very much to tell you or I have a lot to tell you. And it's 20 minutes every time. 20 minutes. Okay. Hopefully I'm seeing all of your comments. My iPad no longer shows me comments. So I have to put my laptop over here. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. So Lighthouse Point is a fabulous bundle. Like I mentioned earlier, you can stamp. It's two-step stamping or you can use the die cuts. And my favorite, I think, is using the die cuts. So that's what we're gonna do first. And I <laughs> have to tell you, see this difference right here, these dumb rocks? When I made this this morning in the video that I put on um, YouTube, I couldn't find the, the, the rock die anywhere. So I had to fussy cut them. Well, I found it. And then you'll see in another video, I couldn't find the stamp. That's I've just entered the hot mess portion of the summer <laughs> for sure for sure okay let's do we're gonna put all of this on the cut and emboss machine um let's cover those ugly rocks i need to replace them now that i have found my my die um okay so we're gonna put adhesive sheets on the back you guys know adhesive sheets will save you if you use the glue like I do, you will love adhesive sheets, 
All right, so I'm gonna put adhesive sheets on the back of white. And white doesn't necessarily need it, but I just like it to put it on there because then I could just stick it down. I'm gonna do the yellow, I mean the red, if I can pick it up. We don't need this one right now. The red is the stripes and it definitely needs the adhesive sheet. And then, whoops, and then we've got navy. You think that'll fit on there like that? Night of Navy, and then we've got Smoky Slate. Now I am gonna have to cut that off because it will create junk. It's gonna create junk on my scissors, but I can clean that off. We don't want junk on our plates. Okay, so we've got that and that. So we're gonna cut out the back solid um, from white. And so, I was in my blog post, I said, we don't have very many lighthouses here in Texas. And honestly, I can only think of one, but, but I, that, that doesn't mean that we have, we don't have more. Um, but I know up North, you guys have a lot of lighthouses. Um, and if you Google lighthouse images, you'll get a ton of color options. Um, you'll see lots of options. Um, so that's what I did. I kind of played around a lot of this the red and white, a lot of like white and black. Um, do any of you live near a lighthouse? Oh, I'm stamping upside down. These are the rocks. Smoky slate on smoky slate. I think lighthouses are really cool. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment in Night of Navy on Let's see, I don't know if it, that's gonna be long enough, so we'll go this way. Night of Navy on Daffodil Delight. And the other thing we're gonna do with this white piece is emboss it with the in to the into the clouds, in the clouds. Let me look at the, what's the exact wording? What did I write? Into the clouds, embossing folder. And this is a not one of our 3D embossing folders. It's actually just like a regular embossing folder, so you, uh, don't need that, that that gray plate for this one. I put new plates on my cut and boss machine. Isn't it nice? Cut in and in the boss machine. I think I'm saying cut and emboss, like <laughs> making it one long word. Cut and emboss. All right, so we're doing that in red or in real red, and then we're gonna do the top in navy. And this is like the little guardrail. If you're at the top of, uh oh. If you're at the top of the lighthouse, that would keep you from falling to your death. <laughs> yeah, new plates, Kimberly, aren't they satisfying? They don't stay new for very long. I know. Okay, so there's that. And then, I don't have any more cookies for you, Mac. You're fine. You can go. He's just staring at me like, you got more? You got more? One is all you get. Mr. Fatty, you're too fat for more cookies. That's my dog. No, I'm not talking to my husband, I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> okay, now this has a die and I did find it, but because there's four of them, I just cut them out ahead of time so we didn't have to sit there and do that for four times, okay? But this we need to cut out. And this, another thing I love about this set is that it has um, these little label dies. Okay, so there's that one. And then we'll use this. This is the little, you know, the light that comes out of the um, lighthouse. Michigan has a lot of lighthouses. Yes, you do. I have not spent enough time in Michigan. I've been there a couple of times with Rhonda, uh, my friend Rhonda Wade, to do events. And I don't ever get to see anything. Oh, wait, we still need this. So I need to go either for an event and stay longer or just go for fun. And she and I did talk about taking our girls to Mackinac Island this summer and it just didn't happen. Oh, I wanna go to Mackinac Island. That sounds amazing too. Okay, so for this embossing folder, we're just gonna take off number two, okay? Put this in here like that. We have a lot of people from Michigan, stampers, I feel like. A lot of stampers in Michigan. <laughs> Judy, there's no lighthouse in Nebraska. Are you sure? <laughs> You have other things in Nebraska, right? Other things like corn, um, tornadoes. <laughs> we have hot, dead grass here in Texas. That's what we have. 
All right, let's put all of this together. Now, you're gonna want your take your pick tool. And I have two of them just for the video so I don't have to switch them in and out. Um, but the brush tip will help you. Also, the little pointy tip, which I have on this end of this one, like this. And there is one little thing up here. We'll have to do that after we peel it off. That one will come out like that. All right. <laughs> no lighthouses in West Virginia either. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, Texas is really big and we have a lot of coast. But we, my family, tend to only go to the Port Aransas area. We haven't been to way down south to South Padre in a long time. And that's where I've I've been in a lighthouse. I don't, I don't, I'm more my Texas friends. Are there, there's no lighthouses in the Port Aransas area. Are there Sam on here? She lives down there. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so now you have turned this into a sticker. It is, you guys, if you haven't gotten adhesive sheets yet, what are you waiting for? They are worth every penny and they, they last a really long time. They're big and you just keep using all the pieces until the sheet is gone and then there's a lot in there. Can, <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, several in Virginia, but none in Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there would be. Um, but you know what? You can always use a lighthouse stamp set no matter where you live. I think it makes a great masculine card, don't you think? Okay, so there is that. And then the little guardrail. I think the little guardrail die is such a fun detail. When I first saw it, I was like, what is that? But see, it goes right there like that. Okay, so let's move all of this. Let me put this die over here. Um, now this, can you guys even see the texture? It's very, very light. It's not, um, it's not real big and heavy. It's just very light and delicate. So to make it pop out a little bit, I'm gonna take a blending brush and some balmy blue and just kind of lightly go over it. I don't want real heavy color and that's kind of heavy there in the corner I should have run more of it off but I just want you know I want it I want those that texture to kind of pop off a little bit just enough okay all right we'll close that and let's put this card together we are going to plenty in Maine Brandy Brandy are you in Maine um, we actually have already started talking about next summer's vacation because that's how we, <laughs> that's how we get through things. <laughs> and we talked about going up, up there in that area. There's that, um, national park that's supposed to be amazing. And you know what else is up there? Cooler weather. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all five of us want to go somewhere next year that is cool. And that would probably fit the bill. Um, beautiful house that looks like a windmill in Wheaton, Illinois. Oh, it's everyone's dream house, but no lighthouses. Nancy, that sounds amazing. A windmill. We saw windmills when we were in um, Greece um, on the Stampin' Up! trip. They were gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so let's take these rocks. And we're just going to, I'm going to kind of put them down. I want to cut them off the bottom so that it's straight. We're gonna put two like this. I had the worst ice cream I've ever tasted in my life when we were in Maui. It was one of the stops on the road to Hana, if you're familiar with Maui. And it was some kind of vegan coconut ice cream that it was on all the places. You should stop here. None of us could even eat it. It was awful. Have you guys ever had ice cream that you didn't like? <laughs> well, we did. It was very upsetting because we are big fans of ice cream. And we were tired and we were hungry. And if the road to Hana, like, it goes like this. Do, 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 do. There's all these curves and you drive it for like the whole day to see different things. And um, by the time you get down there, you're like, okay, I need food. I need a straight road. And we were so disappointed. Um, did I say that was balmy blue? Um, so this is from the Brights DSP. We can either do dots, 
or plaid, and I'm gonna go plaid every time, I think. I did dots on that original one, but we're gonna do plaid right here. Okay, so Smoky Slate, Daffodil Delight, this beautiful lighthouse scene is gonna go here, and I think we're gonna need to trim it off the top. It looks like it's a little bit, just a smidge. I always do that, make it everything just a smidge too long or a smidge too short. Okay, so now, take your glue. Um, <laughs> Michelle, um, well, it was a first for me. And it was bizarre because we it was very expensive, as everything is. And uh, we got back in the car and we were all like, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> it was so funny. We all got different flavors. It, and they were kind of weird flavors, too. You know, like, I can't remember what they were, but they were weird kind of you know, like passion fruit or, or I don't know, something like not typical. It wasn't like chocolate, vanilla, the like coconut and, you know, tropical flavors. But he was doing a bang up business, man. He was I'm charging like $9 for ice cream. And there were tons of people. Only keto ice cream if I'm going to have a treat. Um, Laurie, keto ice cream, you, you, do you eat? I want it to taste good and real sugar. Um, yeah, Lori, so I've had keto ice cream too. I've done keto many times. And if you've been off sugar for a while, it tastes good. But if you haven't been off sugar, it's a disappointment for sure. All right, a few rhinestones. And there we go. So much thanks. So that could be an easy, you know, masculine card for a guy. Ooh, let's not look at that one. Those rocks are bugging me. Um, you could change the sentiment to happy birthday. I think this would make a great happy birthday card as well. And you have to have the adhesive sheets, right? You just really do. Um, <laughs> Carla, <laughs> she says her nephew got married last month and he and his new wife are vegan. Strangest wedding we've ever been to. That makes me laugh. That makes me really, that is so funny. Um, hey, to each his own, right? To each his own. At least you didn't overeat, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't even, what is vegan? Vegan is no animal products, right? Is that what vegan means? I, I have a hard time keeping up with all of it. Okay, so hopefully you guys like that card. Next up, we're going to stamp the lighthouse. Okay, and I've made kind of a fake shaker. Um, it's got depth like a shaker, but I didn't put anything in it and I didn't put the clear. You could do that totally, but I just, I was kind of thinking like, a porthole on a boat, right? So that's what I've created. Now here's another problem I have. This is the DSP from the Neutrals paper stack. And it's Knife Navy, and I liked it. But then I realized this is my last sheet. So what else could we use? Because there's only four sheets in that, in that pack. So for those of you that are getting the make and takes, you're gonna get a variety. This one, I used our, um, okay, I have it on the list. I can never, Brush stroke specialty paper, is that what it's called? Hold on, let me look. Um, yeah, brush stroke specialty paper. It has like a, like it looks like it has a wink of stubble on it's kind of shimmery. So that would work. Also any of the sun prints paper, I thought that one was really good. Um, I just don't have enough to send with make and take. So I wanted to show you some other options, okay? Okay, we're gonna need our grid paper again. It wasn't terrible, but my husband wouldn't even try it. <laughs> oh, my God. Carla, we're going to get um, some angry emails. <laughs> My son's fiance is being crazy for sure. They don't even share pots. Okay, what? Okay, someone explain vegan to me, please. Lisa says they don't even share pots. Is it because it's touching things that aren't vegan? Y'all are making me laugh. You know, I like food too much to be too, you know, I could do keto for a while, but not, not for a real long time. <laughs> I really like food and eating. Um, okay, while you guys explain what vegan is to me, I'm going to do this. So I cut out a basic white circle um, using the largest stylus shape die. And we're going to take balmy blue and do kind of half of it. So, you know, it'll look kind of like sky and water. Okay. Monk seals in Hawaii. Jennifer, no. So we were very curious about what 
was native to Hawaii. I mean, we had lots of questions, (laughs) like, how did they get here? Um, Were those original to the island? Like, we just, we had a lot of questions. So we did a lot of Googling while we were there. And Monk Seal is actually, here's a little little piece of info, is the only, no, no, there's two native mammals to Hawaii, only two, Monk Seal and um, a bat. Um, Every other animal, the goats, the cats, the... um, Oh, what are those little squirrel looking things? Um, oh, mongoose, is that what they were? The mongoose, those were all brought in. The mongoose were brought in to take care of something. What was it supposed to take care of? I can't remember, the rats maybe? And then it started eating all the bird eggs, so now it's a problem. So anyways, everything there is like an invasive species. But no, we did not see the monk seals. Um, and, and I saw that a lady was attacked um, by a monk seal on a different island after we left. Um, but interesting. We saw, um, we didn't really see anything other than, you know, like fish, like when we were snorkeling. I saw an eel that was like four feet long when I was snorkeling. That was really cool. I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and flick some ink on it. And while I have it open, I'm going to do the same onto my DSP. Now, I've told you guys if you do this, this is what's going to happen to your brush tip. So don't do this if you like to use your brush tip. I'm not a, you know, a fan. I don't use a brush tip very often. I'd rather do this. But there might be some other options that you can do. You can just flick regular ink if you want. So just buyer beware. Okay, let's stamp our lighthouse. We went mongoose and rats, Priscilla, yes. We Mongoose eat snakes. Lisa, here's a little little uh, snippet for you according to my husband yeah so uh who just said that gail there are no snakes in hawaii none so when you're crawling through the jungle and doing all those weird things that we did you don't have to worry about snakes isn't that crazy um (laughs) and i read another something online that said um where's my stamp set that said um there are no freshwater fish in hawaii so I said that, and then we kept seeing ponds with koi and stuff in them. And so, of course, my daughter was like, look, Mom, freshwater fish, freshwater fish, blah, 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 Oh, this is not the one I want first. I want this one. So I don't know if that was, I don't know, if that's true, or if that's not considered, I don't know. But they were like, you're a liar the whole time. <laughs> like, you, you made that up. That wasn't true. You know, as kids do. Okay, so this lighthouse we're going to do in browns. Now, I did see a lighthouse online that was like in tan colors. Um, So that's where I got the inspiration for this. And crumb cake is not the best color. Where did I get Sahara sand? I wanted to grab Sahara sand. Uh, Where is it? Sahara sand is better. Did I already get it out? Did I put it on a different tray? Hold on. Hold, please. Yep, here it is. Um, crumb cake, I did crumb cake in the video. I realized that it should be Sahara sand. Crumb cake's too dark. Um, Ricky to <laughs> mongoose. Yeah, we kept seeing them, um, run across the road and we were like, what is that? Okay. I'm going to stop talking about that because I need to explain this to you. Um, this is two step stamping and let me just save you some time and frustration. Get your stamparatus out. Yes, I try to do it without the Stamparatus, and I failed every single time, okay? So the Stamparatus is a definite for this one. It's um, it's not easy to line up, and if you have your Stamparatus, it's much easier. Mine is stained red, um, but it's fine. It still works. All right, so then you take this one. I hope I cleaned it from the last time. And then you put that little, that line right there, kind of up there, in that line, wiggle it around until it looks right, and then pick it up. And then if your um, photopolymer starts sticking to your paper, like this one is doing, just stick something in there to hold your paper down because photopolymer is sticky. All right, so now I was supposed to do the stripes, you guys, in soft suede. I was too distracted by the mongoose talk. So pretend that we did that in soft suede. I don't think I can do it again and line it up the exact same. Well, oh, look, I didn't clean it. Okay, well, we're going to have to start over. (laughs) 
we're going to start over. And you know what? We'll just do this one first. I need to do the stripes first on the next project, and you'll see. Okay, here we go again. Let's try this again. I need to use the rest of this paper for something. So let's get it right on the edge. Right there. We did see the, well, we called them the ninnies. I think they're called nanes. They are goose up on Haleakala. And we saw them. We didn't see them last time we were there, so we were excited to see them. Um, we saw a wild goat, which, you know, isn't terribly exciting, but lots of fun. Um, <laughs> Squirrel like animal in Hawaii is the marmot. We, I, I thought it was a mongoose. I don't know. We did a lot of Googling. There was a lot of questions. <laughs> we spent a lot of time in the car. Hi, Lisa. We spent a lot of time in the car. We saw a lot of animals. So there was a lot of discussion about what's that? I don't know. Is that Nate? Of course, my husband's super into like animals and nature. So he, he was driving and I was the Googler. Had to Google all the info. Okay, now we've got that. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Let's move this over here. Um, this one, I chose cherry cobbler for a more like rich. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see me just stamp that block upside down. All right, so we'll put this, I need to leave room. What I'm trying to do is leave room for a circle. All right, there we go. Okay. From Vancouver. Hi, Carrie. We're just talking about my friend in Vancouver. Mongoose are somewhat different. Marmots are ground squirrels. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. Okay. Now, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. I'm going to show you guys something I did kind of cool, too, with my foam adhesive sheets. We have two kinds of adhesive sheets. We have foam adhesive sheets, which is like a giant dimensional. And then we have adhesive sheets, which is just like sticker backing. Okay, I'm gonna run this through. Let's see, I'll do this one over here, like this. Now this is real persnickety because uh, you really have to look at this little dot up here to get it lined up. You wanna see that pointy thing in there and I can't see it because it's so light. So let's put that there. Hopefully it will stay. All right, run it through. Um, yeah, Shannon, uh, she says the blue swoop from your blending made me think of the wave. You know what? I actually did think about that um, as well. Um, I made the, the last project I just made um, yesterday. And... Um, See, there's our lighthouse. And that's one thing I considered. You're right. There are a lot of things that go with this. What was the other set we did that was ocean-related recently? There were a lot of things that went with that. I can't remember what it was. Um, so did you guys see how I made a circle? Okay, two dies. But yes, you're right. Um, no, I need to finish this. You're right. The, the ocean would be great. The ocean wave would be good with this. All right, so now here's the bigger label. Okay, let's see if we can get it. Nope. Yep. Yep. Okay. Go through, get that. And then, so, you know, when you make a shaker card, we have foam adhesive strips. You can use that, but here's another idea for you. Take your foam adhesive sheet and make a ring out of it. Um, by the way, this is the negative out of this. Save it for another project. You'll, you'll use it. I'll probably save it for the tags I make for you guys next week. Okay. Let's see. Got to get that centered. Lay that down. And yes, it will cut through our foam adhesive sheets. The swimsuit. Christy, it was, right? The swimsuit. That I kept saying, we have so many things that go with this stamp set. All right, so then you've got this ring here. We used to sell, do you guys remember um, a while ago? Like <laughs> years ago, we had um, shaker, foam shaker 
circles that you could buy and they came in all different sizes. All right, so I'm gonna take this off and put this on here. If I can get it lined up like that. Okay, and then we'll bring back our ocean. Okay, and we'll put that on there. Okay, now we'll take our lighthouse and I'm just gonna put a dimensional there and a dimensional there. That one might be too big, let's see. Nope, that works, okay? And then we'll put a dimensional over here, but we're gonna put regular adhesive, if I haven't lost it, on the left side and put that right there, okay? Now, oh, did I forget to cut this part out? Okay, I'll do it real quick. You should see my dies are all thrown in a pile. Hold on, hold please. Let me just run it through real quick, real quick. Um, I had designed these before I left, but I was short one. And so I was like, oh, the whole time I was gone, I was worried. What else am I gonna make? What else am I gonna make? So I like to have this stuff done ahead of time. I think you'll like the next one. Okay, I forgot. I'm gonna color in with saffron the windows up here. Saffron Stampin' Blend. And then we'll take this and let's just put some liquid glue on it. <laughs> I can pick it up. And we're gonna put that kind of like that. Okay, isn't that cute? I think this would make a great masculine card as well. One thing I didn't do is get basic white for the inside. You're gonna need to put a piece of basic white um, on the inside so that you can write your message. Or you can use a white pen, you decide. Let's put this like this. Okay, and then we'll just do a little bit of glue right there in the middle. And we'll put this right here, like that. And then let's add some more rhinestones, a few little stars in the sky. Um, Nina, you know what? It's right here too. I know. I should. I have it. I actually have two magnetic bowls right now and they're both holding things that are not magnetic. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just a mess. I'm just a messy person, messy stamper. I'm not real messy in life, but when I, I think maybe everybody when they craft is messy. I will say I always have to clean up between projects because I can't stand like where you like get this, you know, giant pile of stuff. And I usually do clean up between projects. Okay, what do you guys think? I, I think this is my favorite one for sure. Those colors are different too. Maybe I used, maybe I used Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake. Here's what I did earlier today with Crumb Cake and Suede. I guess it doesn't matter. Whichever, whichever color combo you like the best around with it and see okay let me clean up just a tad because we are becoming quite messy over here and we're going to do one more i've got a 3d project for you whoa whoa don't fall off please laptop stay okay thanks guys i'm glad you like it all right let's move this and this and this, and this, and this. <laughs> All right, last but not least, if I can find my tray, oh, it's back in the corner. We're gonna make a hand sanitizer holder. We haven't made one of these in a while. Look how cute, you guys. And it just fell out. I gotta put it back in. See how cute? All right, and these are pretty easy, I think. Um. <laughs> And you guys might laugh at what I am going to show you how to make the, the hole. What is going on out there? I don't know if you guys can hear that. We've had a tree removal crew across the street the whole day. It's been, 
It's been quite noisy. Can you guys hear that? I bet you can hear that. I dropped the beak from the penguin stamp on the floor the other day. You took me out. <laughs> been there, done that, Lisa. That beak from the penguin is tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, so hand sanitizer. I found these, sea salt and blue skies. By the way, I went into Bath and Body Works before we left and they already had some Halloween stuff. It got me very excited. And I saw at Sam's this week, Sam's Club, I saw um, Halloween um, Rice Krispie treats. I did not buy them. I said, Erica, just hold on. It's not even August yet. But I really wanted to buy them. Okay, so let's make the holder first. You're gonna need a piece of Pacific Point. It's all right here on the PDF for you. This is free, you guys. Download it, print it so you don't lose it. Save it, whatever. Two and a half by 11, and you're gonna do half an inch, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, then six and three fourths, and seven and three fourths. Okay, thanks, Shannon. Um, hi, Catherine. All right, so now you want to burnish these lines. You know, I have my shades down, but it almost looks like it's getting kind of cloudy outside. We have a 10% chance of rain today. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is it going to rain? We're in a severe drought, as many of you are too. All right, so you burnish all those lines. You're going to fold everything in the same direction, basically, so that it curls up like this. Now, before, when we used to make these, we would use our scalloped oval die, the smallest sca scalloped oval die. Um, we don't have that anymore. And I went through all my dies and couldn't really find the perfect thing. So what I'm going to do, oh, Peggy just said, Home Goods has Halloween stuff already too. Okay, you guys, I have to I have to leave. I have to go to Home Goods right now. Home Goods has the best Halloween stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, you shouldn't have told me, Peggy. Now I'm going to be distracted. So we're going to use this. This is the new um, Best Label Punch. And we're going to punch it four times to kind of make a rectangle. It's not the best option, I'm going to tell you right now. But I really wanted to find what we had that is current in the catalog that you could use. Look through all your dies and find what could fit. An oval is best. And a scalloped oval is best because it kind of grips it. But you can look and see other things that you might have. But I'm just gonna take it <laughs> and do four of these like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now, I didn't line them up very well. They're not real pretty. Ooh, that one's bad. Let me do that one again. Okay, it's kind of a mess. And let's make that one even-ish. But it works, okay? You could, if you're really good, take your trimmer and trim out a rectangle. I am not that good, so I'm not gonna do that. But that'll work because you know what? It's not about the hole in the box, it's about the cuteness on the front and what you're giving them. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it square, okay? But it'll stop sticking to my fingers and we're just gonna adhere that to the back like that, okay? See how that goes like that. This is my original hand sanitizer holder design. I made this, I don't know, was it 100 years ago? And uh, it's, it's one of the most hit posts on my, my blog. All right, these little button magnets I have linked for you on uh, my blog. They're very inexpensive and they're really good. I like them better than Velcro, but what I have found, that is weird, what is that dimensional backing stuck to my glue dots? What I have found is you need to use two glue dots. What, for whatever reason, one glue dot is not strong enough, but if you put two glue dots stacked together, it's it'll hold it, okay? So put that down there like that. You can also use hot glue, hot glue is so good. Um, Fiona, the problem with the current oval punch is that when you stick it in the punch, right, there's this other oval up here. So you put it in, the oval you need is down here, it's gonna punch that other oval and the other oval won't work. So yeah, I, that was the first thing I checked. 
unfortunately. I, I, you know what? I don't like when they put two shapes on a punch. I would rather have two punches, right? I, I just, like, it kind of screws up some things, like paper. <laughs> All right, so I put two there, and then I'm just going to carefully line that up. You want to make sure your corners match. And then there you have it. And I mean, these are like pennies. They're so cheap. Um, okay. And then hand sanitizers now are five for $8, which to me, is it five for eight? Or, it, they're expensive. They used to be a dollar. They're not a dollar anymore. Inflation, whatever. Okay. So there's the holder. Now we're going to stamp again, our um, lighthouse. And this time, we are going, we do need to, whoa, we, where did the other one go? There it is. We need to stamp the stripes first because we're not stamping the background. Did I clean that? Let's see. Let's test it. I did. We're not cleaning, I mean, we're not stamping the background, so we have to stamp this so we know where to line up the top part. All right, so we're going to use real red. Stamp. Okay. And then five for eight, Leah, yeah, that's right, right? And then I'm like, I just want three because, you know, I need three for the project. And then I'm like, well, I, I better buy five, you know, like <laughs> they suck you in. <sighs> okay, now you're gonna take this solid one, right? And you're gonna line it up, put that little line up here like this, that little curve, get your sides, and then pick it up. See, did I pick it up? Not move that. Then get your post-it tape and mask off. You really don't need to mask the whole thing. Just We just want that top part. All right, we're going to do that in Pacific Point. I, I can't remember if I said that or not, but I, the cardstock was Pacific Point, and I chose Pacific Point because it matched the hand sanitizer. All right, take your, take your tape off and stamp that and there you go so now we'll cut it out with that solid die that solid um lighthouse die we also need to stamp our sentiment here's in the video that i made for youtube you guys a clean recording i couldn't find the stamp <laughs> it was one of those days without you i would be lost but then this one i put sending you love and light i you know i, I couldn't decide what the best one was i thought they were all pretty good Okay, let's bring over this guy again. Plates are already looking like they're not new. It's already curved. Got to flip it. And we'll put this. And we're going to use that label die again. I really like these label dies. I'm going to use them a lot. Okay, put that, line that up. You could see the point, the tip of it up here to line it up in that dot much better on this one. Ah. Come on, get in the right place. Okay, careful. Run that through. What, Lisa at um, Bath and Body Works? Yeah, I had a coupon, but I had my daughter with me, so, you know, I didn't get to get anything extra fun. She was like, can I have this? Can I have that? Can I any perfume? Any? Oh. <sighs> yeah. You know how it goes. All right. Now, let's bring back over. We'll just use this paper for right now. I've got this little piece that sits right on the top. Um, it's just a tiny bit smaller, and we're going to stamp. I'm using, oh my goodness, they're stuck. There we go. Um, I'm using the, I always call it waterfront, but it's called oceanfront stamp. If I can get that random weird, whatever that is, off of there. Um, and we're going to do the water in Pacific Point, right in the middle. Can you guys hear the leaf blower right outside my window? Or whatever it is. It's very loud. And they waited. They're like, okay, she goes live at 2, so we'll do it right about 2.45. Now, <laughs> Tahitian Tide. And let's see how dark that is. I feel like that's really dark. So let's, I can't remember. I think I did stamp off. 
so the sky is light. Yes, okay, so stamp off your Tahitian Tide for your sky. And then let's get Sahara Sand again for the sand. And we'll stamp the sand like this. What? What? Okay, that was weird. Let's try that again. One. <laughs> what that was. Two. All right. And then while we have this out, let's do the grass. I think the grass is a nice little touch. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Now. Let's layer it up. And I have a yellow heart somewhere here. I don't remember seeing it. Oh yeah, because it's still over here on the tray. Dimensionals. You thought it was boats on the river half a mile away? Oh my gosh, is it that loud, Sue? Your daughter hates going in, says it gives her a headache, but my boys want candles. That's funny. Every time um, my daughters come downstairs, they smell like Bath and Body Works. I'm like, oh my God, girls, take it down a notch. That was a little too much. Reminds me of high school. All right, we'll put this one. Did I put it on the right side? No, of course I didn't. Flip that around. Dimensional. Regular adhesive. So it'll be flat, flush against that. We've got a little yellow heart that's so cute from the Give It A Whirl dies. It's Daffodil Delight. And we'll put that right there. And did you notice there were no bows on those two cards? Oh, no, we don't want that. We want this. Linen thread. Terry, I was wondering where you were. I'll be going back. Because, uh, yes, work issues. Yes, you need to go back so you can conv be convinced. I told them at the beginning that you said you didn't think you needed this bundle, but I'm here to help you make the right decision. Terry is in my downline. She has, she is at the top of my downline list. She is my longest, longest, I don't ever know how to say that, longest remaining. That sounds weird. I don't know. She's been with me the longest. I'll just say that. We used to be neighbors. And then she moved. She's not too far now, but still not neighbors. All right, linen thread right there. Snip, snip. And we will put this on the front of our box. These would be great party favors. End of the summer cookout on the beach. I don't know, do any of you do that? <laughs> Sounds like fun. And this will be a great you know, like now go back to school and here's your hand sanitizer. Or it would be good for a teacher. You know what? I just thought of that. Without you, I would be lost. Hey, that's a great sentiment for a teacher. Longest surviving Judy. I always want to say, I don't want to say oldest. And I don't want to say, <laughs> Terry, I don't want to say longest remaining because that sounds like surviving. She's my, the one with the most seniority. How about that? But that, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm just glad you're with me, Terry. All right, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. Do you think that you want the Lighthouse Bundle? Did I convince you guys? I mean, it's so cute. Um, I posted this yesterday. All right, so make sure you go back and check it out. This Lighthouse is done exactly like this. Oh, I forgot to color in the lights. Oh, well. See how the lights are colored in? Um, so that's that. And then... Here's what we did today. If you want the make and takes, these are the ones you'll get um, for free if you put in an order by Monday at midnight. And then here's my bonus project um, that I'll have on the blog on Monday. I use that label die to create texture. Over here I stamped it with the stack stone uh, background stamp and uh, did a white and black lighthouse. Mm, I kind of like that card too. It's really cute. I like them all. I think you guys need to stamp set if I'm saying. All right, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll be back next week with the Pretty Birds bundle. You know, there's not a lot of projects out there using the Pretty Birds, the parakeets. And I have had fun using them. It's a really versatile set. So I hope you'll come back next Friday, 2 o'clock, same time. And uh, let me know if you have questions, okay, you guys? Um, and don't forget, class to go sign up deadline is Sunday as well as tutorial subscription um, deadline Sunday. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you next Friday. Bye.